go to the professor because I don't like this. Why is this not laying flat? That's better. Ish. No, I don't want you to do that. Why is that doing that? <sighs> All right, I'm trying to go toward or er, forward now. Okay, is that better? No. Why are you doing that? I didn't do this yesterday. God, fucking damn it. Stupid hair. Um. So anyways, um, I had to go to the dean because the professor wouldn't let me retake the pop quiz. So I missed like 15 points for class. And I was like, okay, well, I had a medically excused absence. So can I make up these points? But she didn't tell me that she gave a pop quiz until the end of the semester. So like I'm going into my final and she's like, you're missing 15 points. Cause I was like, why did my grade drop? She's like, oh, well you missed a pop quiz. I was like, what was the date of that? And she told me and I was like, oh, well I had, I gave you the doctor's note. And she's like, oh yeah, okay. And I was like, so can I retake it? She goes, I don't know. And she wouldn't let me retake it. And so then she gave me the option to, she finally emailed me because I emailed her back like right after I took my final. And I was like, hey, like I'm leaving town tomorrow to drive all the way home, which is like a distance, okay? It's across the state. Um, can I please retake that what I missed? You know, because I'm not exactly content with leaving it the way that it is. Um, and she, how does she word it? She basically told, she didn't email me back until the day after I left. She ignored the email until the day after I left and said, um, oh yeah, you can come retake it today at my office at three o'clock. I'm like, I'm across the state. No, I can't. I told you I was leaving this date. I can't take it. And she goes, oh, too bad. So I had to go to the dean on that one because I was like, look, here is the date that I got hit by the car. Here is the date of my doctor's note. I was under concussion precautions. I could not travel. So I need to be able to retake that quiz because at this point that is unfair. And also like doctor's notes trump absence. So, and they, she then just gave me the points after that because the dean went after her. So yeah, there was that one. And then um, I also had one where in grad school where we had a brand new professor for one of my intro classes for um, my grad program. And she was brand new, had never taught before in grad school. And she got so overwhelmed because for like library sciences, a lot of the time, the professors are also librarians for the university. And so she was, she was a brand new librarian and was also teaching a class. And she got so overwhelmed by her job and teaching. Like, she halfway through the semester disappeared. I kid you not, actually disappeared. And didn't give us assignments, didn't grade anything. Like, so we were all just going by the syllabus because we were like, where the hell is she? And so by the end of the semester, we were supposed to have instructions for a, this. It was supposed to be a half a semester long project um, where we coded an entire site with all these different things. We were learning how to code. It was our intro class uh, to tech. And so we were learning how to code and she didn't give us the instructions. She didn't open that module for us. So we didn't have instructions. We didn't know what coding language we were supposed to use what program she wanted us to run it on, how we were supposed to get it attached to the university servers, like this whole thing. And I ended up having to call the dean, which thank God I was, um, I was this school rep on student senate anyway, so I had all the dean's contact information. So I just called him and I was like, here's the thing. 
we have two weeks left. Or no, we have three weeks left until the end of the semester. We have to do that coding project. In three weeks. So, um, what are we gonna do? We were teaching our own class, yeah. Um, and I was like, what, what are we gonna do? Because I, I don't feel comfortable, like, having, you know, a week, maybe, to do. And I don't feel comfortable doing this without the instructions, obviously. So he called her, like, six times. Finally got a hold of her, called me back, and said, it'll be up by the end of the week. And so we had two weeks to do the entire coding project. We all passed. And that teacher never taught again. But, which was unfortunate for her. But, you know. What are you going to do? Do I want to pull this half back? I don't know. I wonder if I just kind of, hold on, can't see what I'm doing here. That needs to stay down. What's going on here? That needs to stay down. What do we mean? That needs to stay down. So, where, I don't know where my claw clip went. Hold on. Oh my god, my hip. Okay. have like the green claw clip. I wanted my like actual claw clip. And I don't, I don't know where it went. All right, well, if it's in the car, I'll just pull it back with a ponytail for now. And then I can put it up when I get in the car because I think I might have left it in the car. It's not on my nightstand. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Sometimes I lose my claw clips like no other. All right, it's not my best, but it'll have to do. This needs to get curled. Come on, you can do it. I'm gonna have to redo this whole piece because this is gonna bother me. looks so fine. This side just never wants to cooperate. I don't understand. <sighs> it's always the one side. It might just have to be what it is. I'm so tired this morning that I do not want to go to work today. I'm very tired. And I took a COVID test. It's not COVID. It's probably just recovering from the cold. I'm going to wash my hands and make my lunch really fast. Okay, somebody's got the zoomies. Why are you zooming? Hmm? What are you doing? Ugh, I hate being sick. Burning passion. I can't believe it's not, it's not in my bag of stuff. It's not in my work bag that I could see. 
It's not, I don't know where the hell I put that. Weird. So far. 